The second topic that we are going to discuss in field theory is electrostatics. Electrostatics deals with the study of static electric field. What is the source of a field? As I told you, in general field is a region in space where the effect of some quantity is felt. So for the case of electric field, what is the source? I mean, which, which, which is the quantity that is going to produce this electric field? The source is electric charge. Charge constitutes of a group of electrons or ions. We denote this electric charge as Q. So this is the charge that is going to produce electric field and we are trying to understand the properties of the field produced by this charge. In general, the field produced by this charge can be categorized into three types. One, static field. The second is quasi-static field. And third type is time varying or dynamic field. These are three types of fields that can be generated by this electric charge Q. If we look at the first field, static field, this is the one that we are going to discuss in electrostatics. The name signifies that we, we are trying to understand the properties of static electric field. Now, what do you mean by static? Static relates to the stationary nature of the field. The properties that remain constant over a period of time. So, the charge Q that, that produces this field can produce a static field only if its position is constant. If this charge doesn't vary from time to time, if the position of the charge is fixed, then the field produced by this charge would be a static field. So at time t is equal to t1, if the position of the charge Q is say R1 and at time t equal to t2, if it is still the, sa if it is still the same, it's just, if, if it is still at the same position R1, then the field produced by this charge in its vicinity can be considered as static field. So it is a field produced by electric charges which are at rest. So electrostatics can be defined as the study of the field produced by electric charges at rest. What about the time varying or dynamic fields? As we know, charges cannot be restricted to one particular position. When the charges keep moving from one point to another point, then the field produced by this these kind of charges are referred to as a time varying or dynamic fields. So the properties of this field varies from time to time. That is why it is called time varying field. Or the, the field is very dynamic in nature. Hence it is referred to as dynamic field. So if you consider the properties of this field, time varying field, they are not constant over a period of time. Static field and time varying field are quite opposite to each other. And the difference is very clear. One field in which the spatial properties of the field remain constant over a period of time and in the other field the, the spatial distribution is not constant over a period of time. If you look at the second type of field that I showed here, quasi-static field, this is an intermediate field. This is a field 
which has got the spatial properties similar to a static field but in reality it is a time varying field. What do you understand by this statement? Quasi static field is a real field. It is neither a purely static field nor a purely time varying field. It is a field whose spatial distribution is similar to a static field but in reality it is a time varying field. What it means is if you observe the properties of this field over short intervals of time then this field properties seem to be similar to the properties of static field. But if you consider the properties of this field over a long duration of time then you would see that it is not constant every time. It is There, there has been some changes in the properties of the field but you will not notice it when you consider the analysis of this field only over short durations of time. Example of quasi static field that can be considered uh, is the speed signal. When you are trying to analyze a speed signal, as all of us know, it may not be such a periodic signal, but when, when you try to process the speed signal in real time, we don't cons we don't take the entire signal for analysis. We take short segments of speed signal for our analysis. Say 20 millisecond of the signal. So during this 20 mill millisecond period, the signal is considered to have a quasi-stationary nature. I mean the signal properties they change, of course they change, you can't say that you know, it will be perfectly constant, but the the variation is quite, quite slow. So the spatial variation of the signal is very low in this short duration of 20 milliseconds. So there may not be big change here. If you take the next 20 millisecond, again the spatial variation may not, may not be quite, uh, quite large. It will vary, but it will vary slowly with respect to time. So, if you consider several 20 millisecond chunks, the variation, there is some variation in the field, but it is not much large. So, if you combine all these 20 millisecond chunks and if you observe the variation of the field over say 1 second or 2 seconds of the speed signal, you would see a considerable difference or considerable change in the properties of the field. So, the variation of the field would be uh, considerably high. That's the reason I told you that it is a field which has a spatial distribution, distribution similar to a static field but in reality it is a time varying field. So this is one of the fields which is which is very important and this field is, 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 is a real field. Static field and purely time varying fields they are not real fields. It is a quasi static field that is a real field. Now, you would have wondered why we are discussing electrostatics and magnetostatics uh, instead of directly going into Maxwell's equations chapter. And this is the reason why we discuss electrostatics and magnetostatics before we, we actually take a real field. Because quasi-static field is a real field. We need to actually start with the analysis of a real field that is a quasi-static field. But we know from the properties of quasi-static field that it has properties similar to a static field. So that's the reason we would like to understand first the properties of static field, static electric field and static magnetic field and then we would see what happens if it is a real field. That means what happens if the field varies slowly with respect to time. So quasi-static means the field variation is not quite high but still the field varies and so the variation of the field is is slow with respect to time or we would consider it as a field which varies slowly with respect to time that is a quasi static field so from maxwell's equation from maxwell's equation chapter onwards whenever i talk about a field do understand that i am referring it to a quasi static field in the literature many times people refer to this field as a time varying field okay so there is a difference between quasi-static field and time varying field. So don't expect that every time 
we would specifically talk about quasi-static field or we would refer it to as a as quasi-static field or a time varying field. So from Nigel's equation chapter onwards, whenever we talk about a field, so and even if it is if it is considered a time varying field, do understand that it is not a purely time varying field, it is a quasi-static field. That means it has a, a nature of both static field as well as time varying field. Now, let us start understanding the properties of static field and as I told you, static electric field is produced by electric charges which are at rest. So, electrostatics is defined as the study of the field produced by static electric charges or it is the study of the field produced by electric charges at rest. And the kind of electric charge that we are going to consider, we will consider electric charge Q. Now, 